Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here. I'm not firing you, I'm just gonna stop paying for you. So for the first review of 2018, I'm going to be talking about a movie that got limited release in 2017, but did get its wide release in the first weekend of January. And as the Aaron Sorkin whore that I am, it was only a matter of time before I got to the theaters and saw this movie. And that, of course, is his very first directed film. And he, yes, also wrote the script. That, of course, is Molly's Game, starring Jessica Chastain and Idris Elba. The true story of a young woman named Molly Bloom who was trying to get to the Olympics at one point, but due to an injury, she could not. And instead, while trying to become a lawyer, she got roped into the largest underground poker game, which included having people from big businessmen to Hollywood elitists coming to pretty much bet their lives onto a poker table. And I have to say that I was very excited to see this movie because I have been seeing so many pieces of Aaron Sorkin's script writing work from the social network to the HBO show The Newsroom to Steve Jobs. So when I found out that he was taking the director's chair and also directing a powerful cast, I knew that I was going to see something special. And let me tell you guys, this may not be the best movie for most, but for me, it was one of the most fun times that I had watching a movie, because I have fun watching Aaron Sorkin movies. I am also not the biggest fan of Jessica Chastain. I haven't really seen a role that she has given me in a while, probably since a most violent year that I really enjoyed. But as Molly Bloom, she was fresh, she was in your face, she was a strong woman that kicked ass, and I absolutely loved it. And for a movie that basically revolves around a female as a main character, this is a true guys movie. Guys playing poker. It involves money being exchanged. People making money. This is just stuff that guys gush over. Movies like Wall Street. Movies like Boiler Room. The Wolf of Wall Street. These are movies that guys like. So this is definitely something that guys are going to like as well. It's got a fast-paced script. Great one-liners. Also some great roles from side cast members. I mean, we've got Brian Darcy James in this movie, and we've also got Michael Cera playing one of the most off-color roles that I've never seen him play, and as a bastard as he was, playing this character named Player X, and if you actually find out and dig a little bit deeper, you'll find out which famous actor he was playing in this movie, but wow, he was so good in this movie, and I absolutely loved seeing him on screen. Not that I haven't enjoyed some of his roles, but this was definitely one of the most fun roles that I've ever seen him in. And of course, Idris Elba playing the lawyer that Molly hires to represent her, also a great actor, played his role well, read the script in Aaron Sorkin perfection, all of them did. It is such a fun, entertaining, and exciting movie about one of the most quiet and slow burn things in this world, and that is playing Poker. I highly recommend that you check this movie out because it is just so awesome. Aaron Sorkin just knows how to turn a slow burn into a fast sprint, and he does it with absolute perfection. And seeing Molly's Game, I really hope that this gets a couple of nods at the Oscars, particular for director and screenwriting, because I thought that the screenplay was very, very good. And I want to see Aaron Sorkin direct more films, because now that I've seen him do it, he can direct just as well as he writes a great script. This movie may not be for everybody, because not many people would be enjoying the topic, but I really did. I had fun with it. I am definitely going to watch this movie again. And this is a movie movie that I definitely want to own on DVD because there's so much rewatchability in this movie here for me. Most of Aaron Sorkin's work is. So I am going to be giving Molly's Game a very powerful three and a half stars out of four. The reason why I'm not giving it four is it because it's just not entirely perfect. There are a couple of dull moments here, but the script really does work and Overall, the movie is very much enjoyable. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please put your comments in the box below, and let's discuss Molly's Game, and I will see you in the next one. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you're new here and want to see more of what my channel has to offer, please click on the link to my last video, or hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my uploads. Content of all sorts is posted here quite often, so trust me, you do not want to fall behind. I will see you in the comments, and actions speak louder than words.